Eric Taylor here with Trail Hunter USA. All right, I'm with Brent Berryman here with Expedition Trailers. Uh, I've had a chance to look at this trailer for overlanding trailer here, and I'm gonna tell you it's one of the most solid built ones I've ever seen. So I'm gonna have Brent uh, talk to you about it and we'll go through it and he'll show you everything about this cool trailer. All right, Brent, take it over, brother. All right, my friend. So Brent here, God's Country Overland here with the uh, Expedition Trailers Off Tracks Phoenix, uh, Australian born and now American made. Uh, so you get all of the, all the time tested strength and quality that you get in an Australian, but now it's made here in Missouri. So we get our pickups a little bit faster. We'll start on the front. So part of, part of it on the, is at the very beginning in the front, very important. It's a Cruise Master 360 lock and roll. So you have full articulation up and down and left and right. So when you're going down the trail, you'll know as you're moving up and down the hill, it moves and you've got a 360 degree rotation there. So when you're off road, your trailer can go one way, your Bronco can go the other or whatever vehicle you're pulling with and it maintains that safe geometry and they work independent. Other nice thing is that exact same thing is why it works so good on road because you got to get through the trail first. Um, as soon as you set up camp, first thing you do is you pull your emergency brake. Uh, don't have to worry about bringing chalk blocks or finding a rock or a tree or anything like that. Plus it's way safe. You got, of course, all your other traditional hookups, chains, safeties right here. This comes completely off and actually gets mounted right here because from here all the way to the rear of the trailer, it is 100% and completely totally about ground clearance to get you where you want to go. That is highly important. Very much so. So here we have a 200 watt solar panel. It stores in here. If you don't have one or want one, you can use this for whatever, but it works really, really well for storing your solar panel. And we'll get into the electrical in a little bit. So I'll talk about some of the construction on this door because it's easy to see. Right here, you'll notice this is not a flat door. This is beveled. This is all one piece has been bent and then it has a little tiny bit it has just a little bit of weld here for bringing those angles in that means instead of being worried about your door it doesn't do anything and if you're a leaner like me i can lean on it all day long and i'm not worried about anything happening to this door absolutely cool man another part of this door that is on all these doors is you'll notice there's a flat surface right here this flat surface matches up to the car seal that's just like on your vehicle. This means dust, water, mud, none of that stuff gets inside. I don't care if this is a muddy mess. I like clean food. Amen. So also, you, you know, you're going through water fording, you're doing all those stuff. You don't have to worry about water getting up in here to your electronics. So it's a little hard to see that area. Um, basically what you have there is a red arc system, uh, managed 360. So everything from the batteries, comes into there, power is distributed out, and then it is also part of your BMS battery management system. So you know anything and everything you need to know about the electronics on this. That is the heart, the brains of that are on this other side. So we'll talk about that, then we'll come back to the fridge. So over here is the brains. You can come in here and turn on whatever you want, how you want. You've got multiple screens. It will tell you your water level, It'll tell you how many, what your percentage of battery is, tell you your draw, tells you your temperature on your fridge. If you are charging it up some manner, it'll tell you how. It'll also go through all these other screens and give you all kinds of actual amperage input. So if you want to know it, it's on here somewhere. So the nice thing about this as well is it works off an app. Um, when I'm in the Bronco, I can check and make sure, hey, things are still charging. Temperature's still good on my fridge. Um, if I'm getting ready to pull in at night at a, uh, at a campsite and it's dark, I've got lights on all three corners here. I can hit that light on that app and I can turn on my lights to back in without ever having to get out or do anything. A lot safer, a lot more, a lot easier. If there's somebody camping on one side of me, I just turn on the other lights. So, great little feature. So come back now we're in the kitchen the fun part so comes with a full slide 
This particular one is a National Luna. Um, fridge, freezer combo, however you want to run it. I'm currently running mine as fridge and fridge. It's hot out here, so we're keeping plenty of cold water. Um, I, can run, I can run the other side as a freezer if I want to. Um, this is along the same lines as, as Dometic and some of the other ones. To give you an idea on the efficiency, I'm gonna have Eric. So this is running at 32 degrees on both sides. And Eric, put your hand right there. It's not cold. It's you can't. It's outside temperature. It's, yeah. It's not. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's it's unbelievable. It, yeah. <laughs> so 32 is. degrees on the inside. This is why. This is why the top tier fridge freezers are more. It's all about the insulation. So it's very efficient. I'm keeping all my cold in here. It means I'm running way less. I'm running this worse. I don't have to worry about the compressor running non-stop, so it just makes the whole thing. What it also means is I've had this refrigerator running at 32 degrees since Monday night. Wow. Uh, non-stop, 24 hours a day. Wow. During the show, I've had some lights on, turn the water pump on and on, showing people. And as you saw on the screen, with zero charging, I'm not, I've not even hooked up the charger. I'm still at 61% battery wow. power. That is cool so that's great that's why efficiency matters when in you're bridges. out off-roading and overlanding on a long trip that's highly important and we'll get to what happens if you if you need it so we'll talk about that real quick actually so i'm at 61 percent um if i was heavily using it i'd probably be down closer to 50 percent but that's four days at 50 percent take that 200 watt solar power plug it in on the other side I'm charging all day long if I need to. So while I'm at camp, I have infinite power. I never ever run out. If you're doing an event where you are setting up camp and then you hook up to your Bronco or ride or whoever you're with and you go down the road, this is set up so that when I drive, I'm charging the batteries. Uh, it's hooked up directly to the battery and alternator through the Bronco. I've got a breaker switch in there for safety. And so when you drive, you're recharging. So pretty handy. Right. So now we got our stove, sink, hot and cold water, and you've got a separate slide. I usually load that slide up based on what I'm going to be doing. Uh, that's where I'll put the Weber grill or coffee pots or whatever I need for the whatever kind of event. This one I left open just to show the room. This folds back out of the way. So you can draw that out, get what you need out, and then pull this out so much storage on this thing i can't fill it and i'm trying uh, <laughs> so again you've got your sink you've got your stove the stove is really awesome it cooks well high heat low flame so it doesn't get blown out by the wind often but if it does because it can this 100 percent shuts off the propane instantly so you're not just kicking propane out in the air then trying to safely relight this so, a great we don't want you blowing up your trailer. That's a great feature. You even got a little extended area right here that keeps coming for an extra prep service. If you need to push on it, there's a little auxiliary uh, leg right here that okay. you can put right underneath there okay. in case you're doing something a little more serious. You'll also notice, I will move this off real quick. So this table, and I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. Another kind of a cool thing is that table, this, all the services in here, they match. They're all that diamond plate, aluminum look. So it makes everything carry through and look very professional. Yes. And flashy. So I use this area as my pantry. I also offer free donuts if you come by and see me. Um, so there's our kitchen. Pantry, this is where I put my dry goods. Up here right now, I've got chips and bread and stuff for making sandwiches because I keep my lunch meat nice and cold. Load these how you want them. Um, again, very strong, this, this very is, structural. Like I said before, this is one of the sturdiest trailers that I've ever seen. And you see how easy it is to pull those out and you could, I wouldn't stand on them, but I mean, you can lean on them like you said. It's so right here, to give you an idea of the strength is. Look at that. Oh man. About any other one I know, I just, right. I just bet Collapse. it. And right. again, I'm a leaner. Yeah. You know, it's, I don't have to worry about it. It also means I can put on here what I want. I can prep, I can use this surface. Right. A lot of them you can't. Right. So again, flat, this, 
This is just this door is made exactly the same as every other door. Hold that up a minute. And you can show off the cool logo with this side. It is a cool logo. I like that. And so you've got the same construction, you got the same seal. What is also nice about small doors have two, your bigger doors have three connection points. So a lot of trailers will have just one. That's one level of close. Then some will have two, but with three, you know when you lock really this down, and you're that sealed. Is a great system. Polish aluminum all the way around. Talk about the tires and wheels here, real quick. Yeah, well, we can actually see them. So right here, you've got 33-inch needle uh, trailer gloppers, um, the Much Rain series of them. Um, I actually have bigger tires on the Bronco, but this sits up higher because of the suspension that's on it. No reason to put 35s on a trailer like this. Um, what kind of suspension? is the fun stuff and hard to see. So thankfully Eric is gonna climb under there for us. Oh my goodness, look at this. <clears throat> so that is your Cruise Master independent suspension. And as you can see there, basically you've got full independent. This thing will rebound, move, do whatever you need it to do. If I could get that good of a suspension on the Bronco, I'd put it on tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> right, tell us about the back of this thing now, Brent. All right, so as you come around, you'll see a, as well a whole lot of power points. So I've got the lights right here plugged in for the Taruka awning, and we can talk about that in a minute. Uh, so power ports, USBs, all over this thing. Um, this is funny to say, but another really cool thing about the, these trailers is we actually have reverse lights. Um, a lot, a lot of trailers don't. Uh, but so you have a full seven-pin connection from your vehicle to here, and these are bright reverse lights. So you've got reverse lights, you've got your auxiliary lights, you've got plenty of lights to get where you need safely. Or if you're just in parking lots, you're on your way again. It's just a lot of safety. We we want you to get out there and beat the thing up, but get there safe. Yeah, that's awesome. So again, another heavy constructed door because of the way it is some extra reinforcement ribs across that but again you know I, you probably can't tell i'm moving the trailer right you know and you heard stuff juggling uh, same seal same everything so that means everything i store back here whether it's bedding or clothes or whatever is going to stay clean all these doors lock but a little quick push and they unlock oh, and eric man. you're going to stand back a little bit because it comes out for ways <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, full story. open storage. It comes with where, where you see these slots. There's uh, brackets that go in between if you want them, so you can have that way. I'm a huge front runner fan, so I've got their wolf packs. Four wolf packs will fit in here. Um, hmm. I took mine out doing something else, so I just put some random stuff in here. But the nice thing about this, not only does it lock in, it locks when it's out. So I don't have to worry about fighting a door, wanting to slide, or just all the silliness that not locking can happen. So it makes it really nice. That is nice. Just attention to detail stuff. Little little things that just keep adding up to, okay, it's all covered. That's what Expedition Trailers did with this. I mean, it was details, yep. details, details. Push it back in, easy slide. You're not fighting it. Locks back in. The table out front that I was talking about slides right here. So it, you got two channels here and a lock here for it. So we slide it in and lock it. <laughs> That's great. Um, may have noticed as we're going around, there's lights inside every single door. I can change the dimness, and I can e even change it from white to amber. If you if you noticed, we can go back and watch this video for the second time. You'll see on this side, I have my, all my lights turned on amber. I want my kitchen area more amber lighting. If to, decrease the amount of bugs I'm trying to draw in. That's great My storage idea. areas wow. are all white light. I need to get in there quick, probably. I'm trying to get something in. I want to be able to see it at night. You know, I need that fresh roll of toilet paper because I forgot to load it. I don't want to have to fight, so I got my white lights on. That is a great feature. So, once you keep coming around, spare tire carrier. Um, probably saw it in his shot, but uh, fairly substantially beefy. Yes. Um, also works as if you need to stand up here to get to your tent, you've got to step. Um, this is just something that I put on. Um, I don't care what brand you use. This is a uh, Amazon special. Pack out, 
what you pack in. I'm sorry. Period. So, uh, this side is just storage. Put whatever you want in it. Again, this is something I generally leave unpacked. And I put in here what I need for wherever I'm going. I threw some stuff in here that people are familiar with just to show the size. Um, you know, new set of traction boards. That's a, that's a pretty good size, you know, item. Fits right in there. I could set it down. I could fold it up. I could even make a little mount on the inside of that to hold them if I wanted to. Um, a large uh, self-inflating queen-size mattress is all rolled up. That's what that is. But it gives you again an idea of the length, depth, and all that. So come around here. I'm a huge eye camper fan. So on this one, I've got set up as an eye camper. Uh, if you put when you put both the mattresses together, uh, it's a king size sheet that you have to fit over top of. So it's right on. It's just right out of king size. Um, way we do this is when you purchase. The, the core which is pretty much everything from the roof rack which does come with it down um, then you can pick and choose your accessories of what awning what fridge what tent uh, it's also nice because if you if you decided to leave the world of I want my tent installed on top of my vehicle so you already have a nice tent well that tent then moves to your trailer so it's a nice way to not have to buy stuff twice or you accessorize it and build it and kit it up the way you need it so right here we're up to additional storage this is also my portable man cave um so you never really know what may be thrown up in there it's uh it's kind of the uh expo uh, junk drawer but huge on the door right here is your propane hot water shower and i'll step I'll step around right here so you've got your propane shower and i'll talk about the propane in a minute Digital. As soon as you when when you as soon as you pull the trigger, a trigger, everything lights up. You got your flow. You got your temperature. You can set it for a different uh, automatic rate. So summer, it'll automatically turn it down some because it knows you don't want it as hot. Winter time, or if you just like crazy hot, you can flip it over here and it'll automatically bring the temperature to a certain point. Um, and then take a shower. Talking about the shower, you'll notice on this setup, I don't have a shower tent anywhere on this. I don't like to put my shower tent right next to where I'm camping. I don't want all that water from three or four days of showering and whoever many, however many people's using it to be right here in the kitchen, in the sleeping, or just the water. So I use a uh, Julka three room tent that I set off to the side over here. I have a 20 foot hose that connects to this, goes over to my shower, and then I can keep that more private and keep the water away from it. Um, other nice thing is, if you know anybody with dogs, is you also have a 20-foot dog station. It's really handy in case you have dogs that like to play in mud to be able to take them off away and rinse them off. And they enjoy it too. They're hot. Yeah. Helps them cool off. So dogs tend to have fun with that too. Great idea. So in here you have an interior now, does storage. does this have a water tank on it? Yes, sorry. Uh, so it has two... 17 gallon tanks so you carry 34 gallons of water with you the tanks are centered over top of the axles again for drivability when you drain them they drain from both of them at the same time so you always have a hundred percent weight distribution front and back and left and right um, all the way down to the last drop it stays over top of the axles that is cool um, yes and then you have a little pump over there it turns it on you've got cold water hot water right here quick connect hookups just your standard quick coupling type setup um, in here one of the things I really like about this is I have interior storage of my propane I don't have one unsightly blue rhino or whoever you use sitting out here it's also drastically safer um, so when I pull up I'll hook up to a, a tank I'll turn it on and I'll shut the door I don't have to touch it again until I'm ready to turn it off when I'm moving camp. Uh, there's a regulator inside, and it comes out to right here. Our two quick connect um, gas connections. So I don't ever have to open up in here, and I can have multiple gas connections at the same time. Uh, I can run one over to that side for grills or whatever I want, one for the shower, uh, propane heater, whatever I want. Um, 
but again, it's nice to not have to get in and out of here and hook this and then move, or have to worry about moving your tank from this side of the trailer to over there and just convenient. Hey, where is the location of your batteries for this thing? So the batteries, we'll go back to the back. How y'all doing? Good. So if you can see right here, oh, okay. you got your two batteries in the rear. Okay. It's one of the coolest spots to put it. And it's also very, it makes it very easy to service. You would just have to pull this drawer. You can pull this drawer completely out. Along with that, since you asked about the water tanks, because I forgot them. Back behind there, you can see all the water storage and the plumbing and everything that's in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it is in there. You even have two ports on top, so if ever any, anything ever needs to be serviced or you need to get in there to clean, you've got, again, pull this drawer completely out and you can get in there to service or clean it. Well, Brent, I really appreciate you showing me this awesome trailer. You're welcome. I enjoy uh, it. And again, this is uh, Brent Berryman with God's Country Overland. He's got a great Instagram account, just starting a YouTube. So go check him out and go check out Expedition Trailers. Like I, I've said, I've looked at a lot of these. This one is the absolute best I've ever seen. So you guys go check it out. And we will see you guys on the trails. Take care, everybody.